G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today is the 4th of October, Wednesday, and we are checking out Ubuntu Mate version uh, 17, 10 beta 2. Uh, I've just installed it yesterday, still polishing out a few issues, but I thought I'd just have a quick rundown and let you guys know how it, it is. So it looks very similar to the previous builds and even similar to Windows 8. Um, I've got a My Computer rubbish bin Firefox browser. I've got Mumble installed. I've got IRC installed. Command line shortcut. We've got TeamViewer to remote in. Wire for instant messaging and replacement for Skype. Um, my Documents folder and then the NTFS drives which are mounted automatically and a Stargate DVD which I found. Um, I've installed this program over here called uh, XPad which is like a sticky notes thing. So problem so far. Um, it installed all the hardware alright so it detected my video card R9 380 4 gig Sapphire. It detected the Presonus uh, audio box interface which is good it detected the Xeon CPU and H97 motherboard drivers so that's good there um, but Steam I've tried installing in the command line and through the software store and it hasn't made an icon uh, video playback doesn't seem to work even after installing extra codecs in the software store so if we right click on DVD um, you'll see it's the Stargate DVD. Alright, so we go open with VLC and it actually comes up with a weird crap there. If we go open there, same sort of thing. Or if we try SM player. Um, it glitches out. So there's definitely a codec issue and the only codec it really needs is MPEG-2 which is the DVD video codec. So I've muted that so it doesn't get identified on the audio but um, yeah, not actually working. Uh, it's saying it's MPEG-1 which should be MPEG-2 So that's uh, one problem there. Uh, another problem is the menu. So it only appeared for games when I installed Zero AD. Um, the play on Linux is in accessories, not games. And of course Steam isn't there. Um, I would like to resize the icons. That's not a problem with the OS. That's just something I have to look into and I would like to have the right hand side screen a different wallpaper than the primary screen but that's a custom thing I want to do not the default out of the box issue um, still got to fix up mouse acceleration it's a bit too fast sometimes and I would like to customize the speed of installing stuff via apt-get um, that's something I would like to look into um, apparently new message drivers are out have to work out how to install that and I did test ETS2 before in this version it does seem to work a lot better um, it runs at 60 at 1080p on high but still not as good as uh, Windows I'll just lock up the command to show you the graphic driver. And it should be this, hopefully. Oops. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, so it's apparently running 17.2.1. Alright, so maybe that explains why tracking is running a lot better. 
So I'm still going to try uh, War Thunder. And I haven't installed that yet. And I've still got a Macarena with Plexin and a Mini DLNA to get um, DLNA streaming working. Uh, the network actually worked a lot better this time. Yeah, she hit uh, browse network and it actually browses the network. So I'm guessing that's the modem. That's my flatmate's computer. And for some reason, my computer came up twice. So at least that's progressing along better than it was before. And for some reason, I've got nothing to share. But at least it comes up. But the problem I find is actually going into the drive you can't just right click on the drive and go like back up oh not sorry back up um share files um and it's not even an option there so that's uh, one thing to work out samba is not easy but i have installed a few things extra so I put on LeafPad, um, which is a notepad uh, type program, XPad, which is this little sticky notes thing, color paint, which is like paintbrush. Um, so that, that's it there. You can select stuff and paint and uh, Quite a little easy program. Okay, so what else we got? Uh, Hexchat, which is ISC client, Mumble, Steam. Now, I've marked around with that a bit. It's still not working as good as it was in Debian. I've got Qubit Torrent. I don't think I've even run it yet. So that's what that looks like. You just go File, Add. Or shortcut everything. Um, OBS, which is running right now. Discord, which I haven't run for the first time. And even after installing it, you still need to install it. Irish Irish. I'll look at that later. Um, oh, there we go. It pops up. Yay! Finally. All right. After installing it, you're going to install it. All right. Uh, wire. We've got that. Let's see if that works. Alright, what else we got on the list? Doku, that is a LAN transfer program. Uh, so this runs on cross-platform different operating systems. It allows you just to drag stuff in and share files between Chromebook, uh, Linux, uh, Mac and Windows, whatnot. So I need to set that up. That's alright, I'll do that later. Uh, well, we've got Team Viewer that should be working. Ocean Audio, which is a podcast and audio editor. Uh, which is there. I'm saying there's a new new copy there. That's all right. We'll work that out later. Um, so I went to the software store and installed all these things. So it is here, yeah, Software Boutique is called. So it's not too bad. So we went through, I went through that before and we got G parted and tangled. Um, that controls your cameras. Uh, Brave Browser, Callbird, which is a Twitter client. Um, 
That one is... Oh yeah, remote desktop. You get which is a file uh, downloading program. Uh, G labels to print out labels for CDs and loaders and whatnot. Clementine, which is the music program. The Kodaks, a video editor. OBS, of course, a different control um, panel for vo uh, video um, volume. Sorry, YouTube downloader, system information program, sensor program. This one didn't work. This MB supposed to be a DLNA file server type thing and synaptic um, haven't worked out how to control the speed on this I don't think it's actually in here in the preferences so that would be a good thing to give um, and yeah everything else seems to run okay-ish um, both screens are working OBS picks up quite good microphones working um the that's so steam you have to actually run from the command line and then it pops up so i've only installed a couple of games at the moment we've got this one which was on gaming on linux um which doesn't actually load so you hit that, it brings up its title screen, and then that's about it. It just stays there, and the little lot line here doesn't do anything. Um, it certainly doesn't seem to run either. It just stays there saying running, 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 and then files. Uh, trucking works, and Borderlands 2 works. Um, Borderlands 2 actually does some really good frames. Um, yeah, we'll quickly launch that up. I'd say it's probably using the UE3 engine, but, um, it's been pretty optimized on Linux by the looks of things. It's just a shame that Fortnite, which is made by Epic Games, doesn't support OpenGL and doesn't support Linux. Great, another dead bull. I don't know if you guys can see up the top, but it's got a green FPS counter. It's saying about 116 at the moment. So this is just the. Wait a uh, You're not dead. The blurb. Yes. Now I can get off this glacier. Claptrap, your metaphorical ship has finally come in. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a CL4P TP steward bot. So yeah, it seems to run uh, fairly well anyway. Um, field of view is 94. Unlimited frame rate. Um, it's got pretty much everything on high except for depth of the field, which I always get rid of, and ambient occlusion. Um, and yeah, been playing that recently on Linux, been working quite well. So yeah, that's my uh, little quick first look rundown at Ubuntu Mate 17.10 Beta 2. Uh, not really ready for prime time, but not that far off. A few things that need fixing up. But um, yeah, if you want to be on the bleeding edge and check it out, you could always run it through uh, VirtualBox and give it a crack. Alrighty, well thank you for tuning in today and have a fantastic week.